What's up, y'all? It's Steph, and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of our videos and subscribe if you like this. We also have a vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Today, y'all, I'm doing my TikTok viral favorite types of video. So shout out to Julia P. She told me to try the cracked chicken. I don't know if it was the pasta. People are eating it different ways, y'all. I'm doing rice and I'm also doing sandwiches. Keep putting this cracked chicken on everything. I'm looking forward to this because the pictures look very good. So we about to check it out. I will be mukbanging it later. So stay tuned if you want to see what I think of the recipe. All right, y'all ready? Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. All right, y'all. So this recipe has very few ingredients, which I love. We got half and half, cream cheese, bacon, ranch seasoning, sour cream, some regular shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And it's not shredded yet, but I'll be shredded. You need some chicken. Now, some people are using rotisserie. I got that. I want to get this done fast. You can also make your own chicken. And then I got what I'm gonna put it in. The rolls and then some rice. Right, so first thing you wanna do is get a few pieces of bacon and chop them up into smaller pieces. Next, you want to cook your bacon. Make sure you don't burn it because you're going to use the oil in making your sauce. Now you're going to take your rotisserie chicken and shred up the meat. Eat the wing before you do the shredding. I don't even know what's the best way to shred chicken like this. Um, at the end, I think I'm going to keep the skin. Cause it's so flavorful. So I think I'm gonna keep the skin in there. Next shred up your sharp cheddar. But it goes on top so just shred up as much as you want on top of your casserole. I'm doing a small pan so I don't need that much cheese. That's probably good enough. In the skillet that you were cooking the bacon in, don't clean it out and then add your cream cheese to that. I'm going to do about eight ounces of sour cream. Let this melt down some, depending on the consistency you want. Over here, I'm going to be cooking some rice, plain white rice. Add in a ranch seasoning pack. This is one ounce. I'm gonna whisk this so I can smooth out this sauce a little better. I'm adding in half and half as needed. I'm gonna add in some onion powder and some black pepper. I'm gonna Preheat my oven 350. Now it's time to add in the chicken. I'm not gonna do all of it right away just so I can see how it's turning out. All right, I think I should add more. It looks too saucy. Now some people are putting pasta in here right now and some did not. So you can do pasta if you want to. I plan on eating it with rice and then I want to try the sandwiches that I've seen people making so I'm not going to put pasta in it. Add your bacon. This is about just a handful of the cheese that I just shredded. Mix it, mix it. Y'all this got this so damn fattening. <laughs> if it's not good it's like what's the point? You know what I'm saying? I mean this is fat on top of fat on top of fat. Now put this into an oiled baking pan. All right, y'all, put the rest of your cheese on top. I saw somebody adding green, green onions, which I love, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that. So now I'm gonna bake this for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, I've actually kept it in there for about 25 minutes because after 15 minutes, the cheese wasn't melted good. So let's see what it's doing now. Bubbling. 
and put a little paprika on there so it's just not so white. Give it a little color. All right, y'all. Let's get to eating this. Let's see how it tastes. Here it is. I gave it about 10, 15 minutes to cool off. And I also put some Hawaiian rolls in the oven. Got a little toasty, a little more toasty than I wanted it to, but it's fine. All right, so like I said, people are trying this all kind of different ways. The pasta looks so good, you guys, but y'all know we always do on some kind of pasta. So I was like, let me try the other different things they do. So somebody had it on top of some white rice and then there are people making sandwiches with them. So I got these to make some little sliders. And I feel like it's kind of giving a dip vibe, y'all. I didn't see anybody eating it with tortilla chips, but I'm going to do that. Because I just, are you feeling dip? Okay, me too. All right, so let's try it out, y'all. I'm excited. I am excited. I think I should just go with the the tortilla chip first since I can dip it right in. Uh-uh, that's a lot. <laughs> Not going to be eating all that on one thing, y'all. Okay, green onion. Here we go. Mm. It's so hot. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's bomb. I was hoping it wasn't going to be nasty, y'all, because this thing is so fattening. So it would be like no point in making something like this if it's not bomb. Okay? Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Now, I have not been hungry all day long. I'm still kind of under the weather, so my appetite been gone. And I've actually been a little bit nauseous all day long, y'all. Yeah. Why this low-key making me a little hungry? Because it's so good. Oh, this is bomb. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, this is bomb. Mmm. Mmm. When I put that ranch dressing in this, the seasoning pack, I tasted the, um, like the cream, the sauce. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that because it tastes like ranch dip. After you bake, it don't taste like that, y'all. It tastes very well seasoned, but it doesn't taste like ranch dip. Oh, y'all, that is amazing. Now, I decided to do this today because me and Tasha are going to be recording tomorrow. She, I thought she probably would hate this. So I was like, let me just do this on my own. So, you know, whatever. Y'all know how she is. I think she might like this. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really good. Mm. All right. What should we do? The rice or a slider next? Let's do, let's do, let's do the rice. Let's do the rice. All right. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. Oh, this is good. Oh my God, this is good. Mm. 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 If you want it cheesier, go ahead and put some more cheese inside. I didn't. I, I didn't want to have it too cheesy, cause I mean, I didn't need no more calories, y'all. Okay, rice. Tell me what else y'all seen people um putting this in or with. So tell me what else y'all seen people eating this with. Ooh, right, white rice. So this seems like it's gonna be a little bit dry. Want some of this cheese right there? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it with the rice, y'all. Mm mm. It's just all too thick and dry, you know. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I ain't feeling it with the rice. Mm -mm. Oh no, maybe it should be looser if you're gonna do it with the rice, because people are doing different consistencies. It, the flavor is cool, but it's just like your mouth is just packed with. I don't know. Yeah, nah, I don't like that. Mm, we get to the. Sliders. Okay, slider time. Let's get it. This one was probably the most popular one I've seen people doing. The sliders and the pasta. Oh yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm a little scared of the slider. I don't know why. The tortilla chip. Oh no, that was good. Should I put? 
Should I put that much in it? It's super hot. I also have a view on top of y'all, so we're going to get into that in a minute. Because <laughs> I'm about already full. As good as this is. All right, slider. Again, just too dry. I don't know if I was supposed to put something on the slider. I did see somebody with like a slider ranch. Maybe I should have had something. But I'm like, it was already got so much stuff in it. I'm gonna dip it in some ranch. Mm -hmm. I don't know y'all. I don't know about the bread either. I'm still liking the, the chip the most. Now I'm really wondering how the pasta would taste. Mm. I mean, it's good, you know. It's good, but I don't know. I don't like the slider or the rice. This chip, this chip is it. This is a dip. This is something you made. You didn't make this in for a party. Whew. That's like gonna be gone. This will be gone. I'm so glad I have a chip left from one of our videos. Or else I would have never been able to enjoy this like this. I'm full of y'all. And this is super, super unhealthy. So, I'm gonna stop. I'll give it a thumbs up though. Mm. Thank you for sending me TikTok recipes, y'all. I have at least three more coming up that you guys have sent i appreciate that keep them coming because most of them be so good all right i'm gonna get to the viewer topic y'all okay so she says first off hello i am a long time fan since 2018 oh that was like the year did we start in 2017 i believe so you a vip og day one um I watch your videos daily and sometimes when you don't post I just binge watch our old videos. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Anywho, I'm in need of advice. My kid's father and I have been together for two years and some change. In those two years, I have had two very beautiful children, a girl and a boy. I love their father, but most times I feel unwanted and unappreciated. He's very rude. I'm always some type of bitch. He literally wakes up angry every morning he has cheated on me twice once with the woman twice his age which is 32 by the way is the woman 32 or is he 32 he couldn't the woman couldn't be 32 because then he would be 16 so i'm assuming he's 32 and he cheated with somebody that's 64 okay <laughs> I mean, he don't discriminate okay i'm sorry no I'm, i don't mean to laugh i'm sorry okay he disrespected my mother blatantly Tells me I ruined his life. And he even regret, regrets being with me. Nothing I do is ever good enough. And the verbal abuse really weighs on me. I've just turned 30 in August. And I, as I said, I spent the last two years pregnant. And then she just put depressed. Okay. I'm not sure what your question was though. I did ask you. I responded to you and asked you what your specific question was. Or if you just want to tell the story. Um, I'm going to, I don't even know if I want to assume, I, I, I assume you not asking me whether you should stay with this man because it sounds really bad y'all. Um, you said he, you feel unwanted, you feel unappreciated. He's rude. He calls you just every morning. He's angry every day. He's cheated on you twice. This, I'm counting up the things. Okay. He's cheated on you twice. He disrespects your mama. And lastly, he did something else. Oh, he told you that you ruined his life and he don't want to be with you. I mean, he regrets ever being with you. If that ain't enough signs that you need to move on. First of all, never sit around nobody who verbally abuses you every day. Never. <laughs> like, that's a no-no. Because you put yourself in a negative, low place every day by allowing him to do that shit to you every day you got kids and i don't care if they with him a lot of people want to stay i'm staying for the kids well if you're gonna stay for the kids y'all need to get some therapy and fix it 
Don't stay and you're miserable and being treated bad and letting your kids see you being treated bad every single day. Please. There is no way you need to be with somebody that's telling you they don't even want to be with you. They regret ever being with you. Every day verbally abusing you. Cheating. <laughs> Rude. Unhappy. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Bye. Bye. Now, if your answer, your question was how do I leave? Start planning now. Start planning now. Figure out what you need for your budget to get out, get your own place. Start, start doing it. Cause uh, either you're gonna be there forever, or you can plan to leave. You might not be able to leave right now, but you can start planning to leave if you can't leave yet. Okay. I'd get out there as soon as possible. If you gotta go stay with family, do that. I'd rather stay with my family in a maybe possibly uncomfortable situation for a little while than deal with somebody abusing me every day. I think you need to think about that. This life is too short, y'all. Life is too short to be not happy. Okay? So if you ain't happy, figure out how you... Write it down. Get a piece of paper. Write down what you need to be happy and start making steps to get that. Okay? That is the answer, ma'am. Good luck. You and your kids will be fine. Don't worry about... Please don't be worrying about staying for the kids. Because kids want to be happy. They don't want to see their parents unhappy. Okay? Now, if y'all have any comments, any advice for her, please leave it in the comments below. Because you know, there's different perspectives. I know there's people out here staying for the kids. Tell her. Tell her something. I'm telling you what I think. Okay? Until next time, only your vibes. Oh, and if y'all have any more TikTok viral recipes, go ahead and send that to Steph Loves Love because I definitely want to try them. All right, peace.